guys welcome to this video and if you're new welcome to my channel don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my other videos well I already filmed the video right now my whole video and I remember that a couple of my friends asked me to if I could do a video with the eyeshadow palette that I own they really want to see what I'm uh, into what I like and I what I don't like if you want to see what eyeshadow palettes I have and what I think about them please keep on watching okay so let's start up here I do have I have a lot of bronzers and products that I use every day here in this drawer my pa eyeshadow palette in here that I have my foundations and my face primers and a lot of other stuff if you're interested please let me know if you want me to do a video with those products too down here I have a lot of highlighters and other palettes and yeah we'll let's just go to the eyeshadow palettes now the palette that I have down here because this one is full this eyeshadow palette and this is a palette that I've used a couple of things in my makeup videos makeup inspired by a flower I really like this palette now the other palette is my Huda Beauty palette this is new to my collection I love this palette I love it if you like this kind of shades get this palette because you you won't regret it this is so beautiful this shade here look I, how pretty very nice shade now the other palette that I'm obsessed with is this Jaclyn Hill palette now has been used a lot of if you see it's very dirty I love this palette this palette is everything when I open this I think of hundred different makeup look makeup looks that I want to create with this palette I can't wait to play with it more I love it I use it almost every day when I put my makeup to go to work I love it then let's see what we have in here lot of stuff this is a Kali Bible deluxe addition palette I really like this palette I use it a lot the favorite shades is uh, uh, this one I love this shade here and this one I don't use these highlighters a lot now they are very nice highlighters don't get me wrong when I open this palette I do use them I used these as my eyeshadow when I just need a highlighter I don't use, go to this palette I have another highlighter that I love and it's uh, let me see if I can find it here there are a lot of stuff in here I love this one this is from makeup geek this is midnight sun this is my favorite highlighter during the fall and winter I got this last year and I love it I think I got it last year I love this this is the highlighter that I reach for every day now during the fall I love this so I don't reach for these a lot now they are very nice shades this a lot I really like it I don't reach for these a lot but I do like them so violet was I love this palette I have this with me every time I travel I've used it a lot and it's a very nice palette I love this shade this one is so nice they are very easy to blend and they look beautiful on the eyes this one then I have the other violet Voss eyeshadow palette this is pro eyeshadow this one is also beautiful this speaks to me fall really these nice brown shades are very nice now the only problem I have with this palette is that the names are kind of get, getting off I don't know why but it's a beautiful palette and this one is so special this shade I haven't seen this shade in many palettes this one is so nice I don't know if you can see it this one is so nice then I have the new Huda, uh, new it's new to me new in my collection this is Huda Beauty rose gold edition palette now I've talked with about this palette many times whoops and I really like this palette I've used it a couple of times uh, also when I get ready for work and then one of the palettes that I also take with me every time I go somewhere and travel is this uh, Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette this smells this smells so nice my children love the smell of this palette and I love this palette no now I've used this couple of times uh, you can't really see it but this is a palette I take with me everywhere I love these shades 
these are my favorite shades and very nice I love them I love this palette uh, then a palette that I've used a lot of times but not reaching for this one as much as I did before this is a uh, Shannox BH Cosmetics and Shannox uh, collab I uh, really like this palette and I've used this in the begin beginning a lot of times but right now I haven't reached for this a lot it's nice palette have some beautiful shades definitely like them and going to keep it in my my collection now this is also very nice very nice lipsticks I did uh, you take this with me before I got the Violet Voss palette and this this peach palette uh, so this one was something that I w took with me everywhere not reaching for this as much but it's a nice very nice palette Then one more palette that is new in my collection is this one. This look at this packaging. As you see, I thrown away all the packaging from other palettes except the Huda Beauty, this rose gold palette. But look at this. This is so nice. I love this purple shade also. I love love this palette. Lara Lee million years ago it feels like that she talked about this palette when she was uh, showing her palette collection and it was then out of stock and she said if it comes back get this palette it's beautiful and she was right look how dirty this one is I, I've used it a lot of times because I really like this palette really love this palette beautiful beautiful it reminds me of Zueva palette but not really what kind of packaging reminds me of that? Okay, then also a new palette in my collection is uh, this one. This one is the Magic Jouets. Oh, look at it. I've used it a couple of times, but uh, I didn't have chance to play with it a lot. So I'm definitely going to create a couple of looks. Please let me know what palette you're interested in me doing a makeup look with. Because I'm... I have a lot of palettes that need more love. Okay, the one palette that is so beautiful, look at the packaging. This one is stunning and the shades are so nice. I've used it a couple of times. Now, I don't reach for this palette a lot and the reason why is because it's so heavy. When I hold it like this, this is how I like to hold my palettes when I use them. This one is heavy so so heavy uh, I created a look with this uh, f last week and someone told me that my eyeshadow never looked better but it's a nice palette and I'm definitely going to try to use it more because it needs more love the quality is amazing um, Z palette this is makeup geek eyeshadow palettes I've used them a lot look at this uh, this is the Makeup Geek eyeshadows. They are so nice, beautiful. My dream is to own every eyeshadow that Makeup Geek makes because the pigmentation, the blending, everything is so nice. This is uh, something you also I bought this last month. This is so cute. I like it. I use it. Need to play with it more, but this shade is so special. This one, very nice. Something new that I got from my from my husband is this eyeshadow palette from Zueva. This is my first Zueva palette. I don't own any of others. I really like this palette. It's a very nice uh, palette. They are so easy to blend. I really like these two shades also. This one is special. This one is called uh, Enable gym or game it's kind of like a purpley brown shade but with I don't know if you can see it but it has gold shimmer in it and it's so beautiful so nice but for some reason when you blend it out the shimmer disappears that's the only thing really I'm disappointed with those shades the darker shades that have some beautiful glitter in it the glitter disappears blend the shade together so don't blend it too much because the glitter is going to be everywhere 
but a nice palette, love it. Need to buy more of Zeva palettes, I really need to, because this one is so nice. Uh, then I also have this Revolution uh, Ultra Eye uh, Contour Light and Shade. This is a very nice palette. I do use it. I, I kind of use it a lot with this palette. I will go into this palette soon, this OPY palette. Uh, but I kind of keep these two uh, next to each other. Love this palette. Nice shades, easy to blend. Keeping this. Uh, then we have this Love Contours All. This is a beautiful palette. I got this last Christmas. I've used it a lot. I don't use these shades for contour. That's what this is meant for. This is the palette for the whole face. Uh, this is for the eyebrows. I did use this a couple of times. Uh, yeah, it's good powders. These two highlighters are very nice. I love these shades. It's what I have on my uh, eyes today in this video. It's this palette. I also have a couple of makeup looks on my Instagram with this palette. But it's a nice palette. Then I have this palette. This is Makeup Revolution. Very beautiful packaging. Dirty. I've used it a lot. Uh, this is the shades. Now this palette doesn't do anything for me when i look at it i feel that the shades are very similar to each other i mean these two they are almost the same this one is like a little bit lighter these two also are almost the same i mean i don't know i don't grab for this palette and i don't know if i'm going to keep this one i love the packaging but the, the shades are nice they do blend very nice it just too many shades that are too similar. Then I have this beautiful palette. Like I said, I uh, use this together with Revolution, together with this palette. Oh, let me open this. <sighs> Can't open it. This is all the shimmers and this palette is so, so beautiful. I mean, I can create so many looks with this palette. I love it. Let me do a couple of swatches. Now this palette needs to get more love from me. Look at the pigmentation. They are very nice. I just don't use them a lot because this palette speaks to me fall. This speaks to me more fall than uh, anything else. So I'm going to use it more, uh, but it's a beautiful palette. I love it. Nice packaging also. Okay, more palettes. We have uh, Makeup Revolution Professional Eyeshadow Palette. I forgot this, what's it? Oh. Okay, this palette, it's a beautiful palette, I just don't reach for this a lot, like the shimmers are not as pigmented as I thought they would, this shade is, this, this shade I was the most curious about and it's, it disappointed me, it's, I don't know, the quality, it's not the same as in the other palettes, so I don't know if I'm going to keep this palette. I don't use it, I don't reach for this palette. The other shades are nice, they are kind of okay, but I don't know, I am kind of disappointed. Yeah, I'll maybe keep it and uh, try to use it more and see if I will like it later. I don't know. Then we have a sleek palette here, where the other sleek palette, here's the other one. I have this one, this is a palette that I used a couple of times. This is I Divine uh, on the Horizon. This is a nice palette. I don't love the brush, I just, I don't know why I keep it. When I use this palette I need to use another palette because there are not enough shades so I can create a whole look. 
I kind of think so. It's a nice pigmentation. It's not the best quality, but it's a nice pigmentation, and I do like it. I don't reach for it as much as I maybe supposed to. I'm definitely to try to use it more. This this speaks to me Christmas. This shade. This shade is beautiful. Maybe a smoky eye with this one. Mm. Not the best pigmentation, but it's it's an okay palette. Then the other sleek palette I have here, this is Sunset. This is Sunset. This one is also beautiful. Uh, I've used this one a lot. I don't know if you can see. This one is my favorite shade in here. Look at this one. So beautiful. And this one is beautiful too. I don't know if you can see. So this palette has more pigmentation and than this one every shade here is shimmer shade except the black one so nice pa nice palette this one is nice I think I have one more sleek palette but I can't really find it right now okay then I have a old favorite this is a Too Faced chocolate bar palette I don't reach for this palette a lot because I have other palettes that I use but this one is smells wonderful my son really loves this palette uh, he thinks it's beautiful and it smells chocolate, so that's why he likes it. I don't use it as much as I, I supposed to, but it's a nice palette. Then I have a palette. This is uh, Holochrome Models, Models Own. I've used this a couple of times. I like it. I don't reach for them as much as I maybe supposed to because it's not as hollow as I thought it would be. But they are nice shades. And I like the packaging, so I'm going to keep this one. Then I have Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. When I look at it right now, it's boring. I, I used to love this palette, but right now it looks boring. I love this shade. This one is beautiful. The pigmentation is not the best. Look at the pigmentation. Old. I know. It's not the best. I know, I, I just don't reach for it. I am still going to keep it, I think, because I'm a collector and Urban Decay is a nice brand. And this palette is beautiful palette. I love this palette. Look at this. Oh, this blue, this shade, I die for. I need to use this palette more. I need to give this palette more love. The good thing is that you can take it with you. If you don't want the whole palette, you can take the shades out and put in a Z palette. I the problem is they are too down too deep down in my drawer and that's the reason I don't use it as much as I would love to because I forget about them. I forget about the palettes, but look at the packaging. It's so beautiful. I love this packaging. Okay, I have here my uh, oh, this one is old. This makeup geek eyeshadows. Uh, look, I've used them a lot. Uh, I love all this shade. This is my favorite shade. I think this one is my favorite. This is a uh, Tuscan Sun. This is the shade that I've used a lot. This is uh, in the spotlight. I need to buy the new one. I need to buy this one. This is a flamethrower. I made so many makeup looks, but not on my channel, unfortunately. That's bef This is before I started my, my channel. And uh, this is I'm Peachless. I need to buy a new one. I love, I love makeup geek I love makeup geek look how much love they did they got and they are going definitely to get more love it love love okay this is the wet and wild eyeshadow palette I'm going to get rid of this palette I don't use it I'm not going to use this palette I mean when I look at it I don't know even I don't even remember why I bought this I probably bought this because of the name Wet n Wild, but I don't like this palette. I think I got this palette in my glossy box, the limited edition, I think. And this is a nice palette, I've used it many times and I'm going to keep it because I do like it. And this is the brush from uh, that comes in, th in this palette and it's a nice brush. I like this blending side. It reminds me of... Um, Naked Urban Decay Naked 3 palette, but this one speaks to me more. I like this. 
not the best quality of the eyeshadows but I do like this one uh, this palette is my first eyeshadow palette this is a uh, brand Motivas Malvans I think I pronounced that right I don't know if I pronounced that right I have a makeup look with this palette I love this palette I really like this palette I've used it many times and uh, I like it and I'm definitely going to keep it because this is my first eyeshadow palette and what I like with this dark shade with shimmer the shimmer stays then I have this palette here this is from Chi Chi bases I've used this couple of times I need to give this palette more attention it's a nice palette the only palette I own from Chi Chi or Chai Chai, I don't know if I pronounced that right, I'm sorry if I didn't, this is Glamorous Base Eyeshadow Palette, like it, affordable. Then I have uh, these three eyeshadow palettes, I have a video with these palettes, this one is the nude I think, uh, I like this, this is the palette that my husband bought, bought for me. The favorite is Rose. They stay on my eyelids forever. It feels like forever. Now this is much better than the Makeup Revolution. It reminds me a lot of that palette that I'm going to get rid of. But they are better quality. I love this palette. Uh, now this couple of shades are not as pigmented as the others but I do like it and I'm keeping all of them and this one is ombre I'm keeping all of these beautiful now I'm kind of disappointed in, the, in this shade it's not as bright as I thought it would be but I, I do like it and look at this blue one oh, this is a dream eyeshadow look how beautiful this blue one is love it keeping let's see now we have oh look Lorac Pro oh my god I forgot about this palette uh, why did I forget about this palette this silver is very nice this blue one is almost uh, as this one it's more cool tone I like this palette it's a nice palette it needs more love from Ida. It's too deep in my drawer. I need to clean it. Look how dirty it is. Nice palette. I love it. I think I got this from my sister. I can't really remember. I think so. I like this. This is the only Lorac palette that I own. And I like it. Needs more attention. And then we have, oh, this one it's, I got this in BH Cosmetics when I ordered a couple of thing, things and I haven't used this palette. I know. I haven't used this one. The small palettes don't speak to me. Oh, look at this. Too chunky. Oh, uh, this is too bad. This is too dry. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, why it's why does oh, it's not pigmented i don't know they're not as pigmented as i thought and this rose and this one is beautiful in this pan but it's too oh, look i'll probably get rid of this pa palette and then i have oh this one is so nice this is my only vcr palette and I love this. I've used it a lot of times and I take this with me everywhere. I love the shades. They are so nice. Easy to blend oh, and they pop out. And you can put them in the Z palette if you want to. I love this palette. Love it. Pigmentation is nice. So beautiful. Need to get more of the VC, uh, VCR palettes. But they are expensive. They are expensive. Then this is not the palettes, but this is uh, Pixie eyeshadows. This is a uh, fairy dusty favorite matte classic, and this is the shimmer metallic, metallic warmth. They are beautiful. I love these. Now I've used these couple of times. I love them. 
uh, they need to get more love they're nice and then I have a couple of single Nabla cream eyeshadows this is the elf that I bought this is from uh, glossy box that I got so guys all of my eyeshadow palettes I think I have a couple of them somewhere but I can't really find them anywhere but if I do I will uh, show you them in my other video but uh, give a thumbs up if you want to see similar makeup videos maybe with my foundations and other products give a thumbs up if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and thank you so much for watching see you in my next video bye